Monday, everyone. I hope your weekend was well. Uh, last Friday was the opening of the Orange County Fair, and it will go on for a whole month. And here on Cabo Bay in L.A., we are so generous. We're giving you a chance to get in for free. We're giving away tickets to the Orange County Fair. Um, every week, we pick a family, a lucky family, that wins four tickets to the Orange County Fair. And it's so easy to join our ticket giveaway contest. All you need to do is email us, Cabo Bayan at LA18.tv, why you think your family deserves to win the ticket. Tickets. We are giving away tickets this week and next week. After noon, wala na po. So ipadala nyo na ang inyong mga entries. Be creative, you know. Not just a letter. Send us photos. Send us, you know, whatever you want to send us to convince us why your family deserves to win the tickets to the Orange County Fair. All right, like I said, it's uh, Monday today on the show, and I hope you had a great weekend. Panibagong linggo na naman po. And for a lot of us, you know, pag Monday, we pray for guidance for the whole week. And speaking of praying for guidance, there's one song that I always, always love to listen to. I used to sing this a lot when I was in the Philippines in high school and college as well. It's called Lead Me, Lord, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard that song too. Today on the show, it is my honor to introduce you to the guy that actually composed the song, Arnell. Hello. And welcome to Cabo Bay in L.A. Thank you, and uh, thank you for having me here. It's, you know, it is exciting for me. You know, you're not just <laughs> writing songs, you're not just composing, you're not just a musical director. You sing too. Yeah, I yeah. do. I do. Oh, sige nga, pakanta nga ng kanta. Pakanta ng lead me, Lord. No, two lines lang, two lines lang. Well, uh, you are my light, you're the lamp upon my feet. All the time, my Lord, I need you there. Yan, yon, ayan. I'm sure alam na nila yung kanta. Lead me, Lord, such a very popular song. We sing it in church, and we sing and a lot it in of people, different yeah, gatherings yeah, yeah, as well. Mm -hmm. um, when did you, what's the story of that song? Uh, 1985, I was uh, coming down the stairs one day, and uh, suddenly the inspiration came to me. Um, I went straight to the piano and started writing, and the song practically wrote itself. Really? Uh, uh, there's times, uh, and then there are songs that do that to me, mm -hmm. that... Uh, they just seem to write themselves and they just flow and there are some other songs that i, I need to craft I, I leave them behind and then come back and then I, I until the time i'm satisfied with the result but lead me lord was not one of them when you compose lead me lord um how long have you been uh, in music at that time uh, I've been in music since uh, i was small okay uh not formally though um uh, I sing in church choirs, I sing in uh, school choirs, uh, I was in the Ateneo Glee Club, okay. uh, conducted by Joel Navarro. Uh, high school ako sa Rasal, so... Okay. <laughs> no, 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 I just uh, get the best, best of both worlds. Yes, exactly, that's what they say. Oh, tapos? So, so uh, I was in college then, and... Uh, I, I, I entered that song in a, in a college comp songwriting competition, uh -huh. and during that time then, uh, Basil Valdez was looking for a song. Yes, yes. And uh, I that gave it to him, and the rest is history. That was a wonderful, wonderful song. Um, when you composed it, did you know that it was going to be like this big? No, 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 uh, not at all. Uh, uh, songs tend to get a life of their own when you put it out in public. Eh? Mm -hmm. So um, I did not uh, realize that people were using the song for mga retreats nga and recollections. And then uh, suddenly uh, people identified with the... Uh, the prayer of the song and the lyrics too the because lyrics. you know it talks so, oh. about surrender you total surrender to the lord yeah. we believe uh -huh. that he's leading us to where he wants us to be and that's the only way to i think that's the only way to go uh that's what i believe in but uh, do you only write religious songs or was this just one of those uh i'm a church person and church musician at heart so most of my material is uh uh for the use of uh, of, of the church, church. Mm -hmm. uh but I've written, no, 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 I've written songs for a couple of artists then back home. Right. And uh, here in the States, Arnell is going to have a concert tour, correct? <laughs> uh, I'm on, actually on my second week. Mm -hmm. uh, I came from New Zealand a week ago mm -hmm. and uh, shared the music there in my, uh, with the Filipino community there. Uh, here in the U.S., I just finished my first 
the concert in uh, First United Methodist Church of Pasadena. I'll have another one on August 3 in uh, Rosewood United Methodist Church. I think I'll have one on the 21st. Very uh, busy. Yeah, at Wilshire Baptist Church. Right. Do and you prefer singing your own songs or having people sing your songs? Ah, that's a tough question. Um, because here in this concert, you're going to be singing your own songs, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Let's just say that if I sing, uh -huh. I'd rather sing my own material. Because uh -huh. uh, uh, I don't want to mess up somebody else's lyrics. Right, and you know, you know your song. <laughs> and they say, you know, singing is, tama ba yan? Praying twice. Oh, yeah. Kaya po, samahan oh, yeah, 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 yeah. natin si Arnel sa kanyang concert. I know we put up the information earlier. If we can put it up once again. Also, uh, that's the phone number if you want to get more tickets um, to that uh, fundraising concert. That's on August 3rd. Thank you so much and more power to you. Hey, thank you, Jenna. Magbabalik po po ang Kababayan LA. Don't go away.